This is a uh, sterno can in here, and I've cut this out. You could probably use this for wood or something, but this is just one of the many little stove fabrications, you know, that I made up. I abused it once, I think. You know, if you want to get rid of these cut edges, you just fold it up, fold it back. I'm a knife guy, so you know, I like to show off my knife. Every chance I get, this is a uh, K-Bar SE um, collaboration knife, so uh, I forget the name of it. And then uh, I'll show you this little pan that I got. It's a, uh, it's actually a little poaching, egg poaching pan. And I saw it in Walmart, it was like, I don't know, five bucks or something, you know. And I've eaten a couple eggs out of it, and it, it works really well. Um, you put a little water, about half fill this with water, down here at the bottom, then you put this pan in, and then you put about a tablespoon of water in here. Um, you can see it's got little holes in it there. And so steam actually comes up, uh, once it's heated, steam comes up and comes through these holes, and and uh, cooks your eggs. It takes about two or three minutes uh, and the eggs were perfect, perfectly poached just the way I like them so uh, you know it's got a nice little lid for it there and stuff. Cute pan though and I, I couldn't overlook it so today we're not going to use this though so I'll put this over here. Uh, today we're going to use uh, just the pan. I want to kind of try it out fits there okay. So, I'm going to take the red cap off of this. It's really cold out here today, so I hope this lights up well. And This is just kind of an experiment I'm doing, and you're along with, for the ride, I guess. Uh, tortillas last a long time. Of course, today's bread lasts a long time, too, but uh, tortillas are... Uh, good way to go. And I've got this uh, metal thing here you get two for, I don't know, I got it at the dollar store I think. And it's, uh, you know, you get two of them for a buck. And uh, they're, they're drying racks is what I think they are. But I'm going to use it here to hold the hot pan if I have to. And uh, if you don't use coffee filters for stuff, I'll tell you something, you're missing out because these things are great for all kinds of stuff. So we're going to use those today. I keep my gloves on as long as possible. Now, I know some people like spam. Uh, I like spam too. I much prefer treat. I don't know. Maybe it's just the poor man in me. I don't know, but I like treat. So we're never going to get pieces in there. So what I'm going to do? Use the back of my knife here to open this. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna just try to cut it while it's in the can. You know? Let's see what we have here. Being canned meat, you know, all I'm doing is heating it up. I mean, it's already uh, good to eat right out of the can. So it's a real good choice for this kind of hobo meal. And really, that's what I'd classify this as, as a hobo meal. As I said, I could, uh, this could easily be wood. And I could do wood, but, you know, I've got sternos here, and, and uh, sternos are something that's easily acceptable or easily accessible. For most folks, of course, wood is too, I guess. Come and look at it. All right, I think that'll do for a start. Get this thing lit. Not gonna give me any warmth, but uh, 
You can see this this won't come out of here. I leave this in here. It's not gonna come out. You have to finagle it a bit to get in here and light it and, and to get it in and out if you want to change cans. Sterno cans are chafing fuel. They're used uh, in a lot of buffets. You go to weddings and stuff, you'll see the buffet set up and, you know, the, the sterno cans are underneath it and they're keeping the uh, chafing dishes hot. And uh, they're not really meant to get too hot. I mean, like for boiling purposes and things like that. But um, what they will do is uh, keep your dish, uh, heat your dish up. And that's what we're doing right now, of course. We're just, we're just heating this thing up. I'm gonna go ahead while that's cooking and cut up some more of this. You can see all I'm doing is just, just cutting this up while it's in the can. I don't have to get it out. Now, Rita, when she cooks uh, this stuff in the, in the uh, house, uh, she cuts it up this way anyway. She cuts it up in the can just in slices, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, dropped it on there. My dog Chips over here will appreciate that. Oh yeah, it's starting to warm up. Really nice. Got a good flame going there. You know, I've got some gallon cans that uh, put some holes in the bottom of them and and make you a little port right here where you can feed it. Um, you know, and it's a hobo stove, and I've used them to cook hamburgers and stuff on in the past, and uh, you know they work fine. You need a little. Uh, Sometimes you need a little grill up there, which you can easily make out of um, just skewers. Um, you know, I guess the idea is use whatever works, whatever you have on hand. That's that's the point of this thing. Is uh, your power goes out or something? You know, have some ideas in the back of your mind. That, well, what can we do? How can we heat up our food? Or how can we produce heat? Because this actually, in a very small room, if you were to blanket off uh, some of the other rooms and, and get yourself a small space, uh, this would heat you up. Um, and because it's a, a gel, an alcohol gel, um, you know, I, I wouldn't want to like be in a super tight space and breathe these fumes and stuff, but folks, they use these inside all the time. And I know in my alcohol stove, that's a clean burning fuel. So I really don't think it's going to, like, uh, hurt anybody to, uh, you know, maybe breathe this stuff in like if you were in a car or something like that. I'm going to use this little lid as a stirrer. So many people are gear minded, you know, you, you want to have all the gear, you want to have all the right stoves and you want to have all the, you know, the, the proper equipment, but, um, Survival is sometimes just about using what you have, and uh, you know, you, we've all got a lot of this stuff laying around the house. So, hello, kitty, Essie, how are you? Oh yeah, you can see that starting to smoke up now a little bit. Now, of course, you could do a lot of a lot of things with this, couldn't you? I mean, think about it. I'll even use this to kind of cut this a little bit. Once it's once it's been uh, cut or once it's been heated, it cuts up real good. She's gonna smell this, I'll bet, and try to get up here. She's gonna be in for a surprise. Psst. Don't get up here. Now, you don't have to sit with me through this whole thing if you're still with me. 
you don't have to sit while I cook this whole thing. Um, you know, you'll see what you need to see here. So, so anyway, back to my rant. I think, I think that's uh, the point of this. And what, you know, if I advocate gear on uh, to anybody, it's using what you have and, and thinking. Sometimes thinking outside of the box, but sometimes using, you know, established formulas and just flip flopping it over into what you got or what you could use. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on gear, and I don't. Uh, you know, I simply use use what I have here and sometimes just try to think outside the box. So that's what I'm saying to you. You know, these things are not super... Uh, I will, just for some of you cat lovers, I will give Essie some of this meat here before it's over with, but just not right now. All right, but you're getting a cold piece. Now get some of my hot stuff. There you go. It's like she hurt me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna put this in this tortilla. Put this back up here. Put some more of this in here. Realize this is a long video, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it here shortly. We'll continue to have our little feast without you. So I'm not real good at wrapping these up. But I can wrap it up enough to eat. Where you at? That's good stuff. Thanks for hanging with me.